Hey, what's up everybody? Reggie Rhodes coming to you here from Winco, Mississippi of Hattiesburg. Got a little video here for you, some tips on uh, how, to, how to take care of your order once it arrives. Especially if you're getting it off of a carrier like RL Carriers, Old Dominion, Saya. Uh, I think the most important part is as these pallets are coming off of these trucks, take a really good look at them. Make sure you don't see any damaged boxes, torn shrink wrap, anything that looks out of place. If you do, go ahead and immediately take a few pictures. Make sure you have some documentation that you can send to us to show us that something went wrong from point A to point B. Also, get with the truck driver. He'll have a form that you can fill out, and that way the trucking company has some sort of documentation that something has gone wrong. Then you can get in touch with us and we'll go ahead and make sure and get it fixed for you. The next important part of this whole process is uh, to check things off with your delivery list. Normally we send you a delivery list either in the email or we'll send it on the pallets itself. Once you have that, go ahead and check off each case line by line. Make sure that you are receiving what you're paying for. If you come across, say, a case that is not correct or you're missing something that you did order, that is not on your delivery list, then get in touch with us. We'll get it fixed immediately and we'll make sure that uh, you're not paying for something that you did not get. A couple tools that we like to use around here to get it from point A to point B are pallet jacks, dollies, and of course box cutters to get it onto the shelf. With a pallet jack, it's pretty easy to move just about anything anywhere you need to. Unless perhaps you're getting it uh, delivered to a tent where it's in gravel or possibly dirt, um, those might not move around so well in, in situations like that. In that case, I recommend a dolly. They come in different sizes. Um, the bigger, the better. You can move a lot more product with a bigger dolly and then you have to kind of go back and forth less times. But normally a dolly would work in just about any situation. If you're in some sort of a warehouse or or even a storefront, a pallet jack will also do the trick. Of course, the box cutter comes in hand to get it out of the box and onto your shelf and ready to sell. So those are a few tips of the uh, trade there as far as unloading a delivery, checking a delivery off, and getting your boxes from one point to another and on your table and ready to sell. A lot of times people ask me, well, if I'm gonna come pick up my order, what size vehicle should I have? I think one thing to keep in mind is that when you're looking at product on the shelf, it can sometimes look a little bit smaller than what it actually is when it comes in a case. So I say again, bigger, better. The more room you have, the more product we can get onto your vehicle and you don't have to leave anything here. Uh, a lot of times people will use a, say a U-Haul truck because they have pretty good deals, like 35 bucks a day. You can pick it up in the morning, come up, get your order, get it to your location unload it and get the truck back in one day and that's a lot cheaper than say having to come back and forth in case you don't bring a big enough vehicle or even getting it delivered on a big carrier truck especially with the way that uh, shipping prices keep going up this time of the year so there's a few tips for you on how to take care of your deliveries and we really appreciate everything and we appreciate your business and we sure hope to see you soon until then take care